Open Office Mail Merge Labels Part 4 Suppressing Blank Address Lines If you remember from last time, we printed out some labels and we got this icky blank line. If there was a, a second line that was working, oh great, it's misspelled. But anyway, most of our addresses did not have a second line and that really looks sloppy. So we're going to show you how to delete that. Let's close this file. Here is our address file. And again, address line here. Address 2 is the one that's not working. So let's turn on the non-printing format characters. And now what we do is we're going to hit the delete key on the keyboard and then press enter. And we are going to move down to address 2 right before the key. And we're going to delete. And we're going to press enter. Now we are going to highlight the entire second line, including, so you got to pull it down to right before before the city. You're going to move your, your cursor right down here to before the city so that you've got the entire line blue including the paragraph marker and then you're going to say insert section and we're going to call this suppress and we are going to click on the hide button and we're going to make our condition and that's my book sheet one address two and then a cap uh, in capitals EQ and space quote quote and say insert and now you see it put an extra line there, so we are going to move over and we're going to delete that line. So now we have, do you see this faint line above address and below address? Now we are going to synchronize our labels. And if you remember the synchronize button up here, it's going to change all these labels done on this side. So let me synchronize. Oh, now they all have the paragraph markers. And let's go File and Print. And your document contains address database fields. Do you want to print a form letter? Yes. And we are going to, let's go to the printer this time just so you can see real quick. And do you see any blank lines there? Probably too small. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go to File, Print again. Yes, it has those. I'm going to go to fi my file. I'm going to say, OK. I'm going to name this Test 2. And I'm going to say save. OK. And now let's go to file and open test 2. And look. Four lines here, three lines there, skip lines there, taken care of. And that's how you suppress the line. I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to now save these files. And I'm going to call it labels. Or I could have said labels master, whatever. ODT, open office text document. Say save. Yep. And now I have these this nice set of labels. And I can use this anytime. 
our next session will be on how to use some of the controls that we saw in that print dialog box. Look at the next video.